Just as Jesus died and rose again, so through Jesus God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. And as in Adam all die, so also in Christ will all be brought to life. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We gather for Mass today to remember before God the soul of our sister Rosie Figaro, whose funeral takes place on Thursday. We pray for Rosie's soul, we pray for her family and all who grieve. We commend her into God's sure keeping. And as we offer this Mass in particular for her, we pray also for all those who have died recently. I encourage you to remember any in your hearts at this time, and we pray for all who have died as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for families grieving and mourning, and we pray that they may be comforted by God. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, as our faith in your Son raised from the dead is deepened. May our hope of resurrection for your departed servant Rosie also find new strength through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, heard a voice from heaven say to me, Write down, Happy are those who die in the Lord. Happy indeed, the Spirit says, Now they can rest forever after their work, Since their good deeds go with them. The Word of the Lord Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. O let your ear be attentive to the voice of my pleading. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. If you, Lord, should mark our guilt, who, Lord, would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than watchman for daybreak. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. If we have died with Christ, then we shall live with him. If we hold firm, then we shall reign with him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the sixth hour came, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you deserted me? When some of those who stood by heard this, they said, Listen, he is calling on Elijah. Someone ran and soaked a sponge in vinegar, and putting it on a reed, gave it to him to drink, saying, 
Wait and see if Elijah will come to take him down. But Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last, and the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The centurion who was standing in front of him had seen how he had died, and he said, In truth, this man was a son of God. When the Sabbath was over, Mary of Magdala, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices with which to go and anoint him. And very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb just as the sun was rising. They had said, been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? But when they looked, they could see that the stone, which was very big, had already been rolled back. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man in a white robe seated on the right-hand side, and they were struck with amazement. But he said to them, There is no need for alarm. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See, here is the place where they laid him. The Gospel of the Lord. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Father, we pray for the Church throughout the world. We pray particularly for all who minister to the dying and to the bereaved, for all who have care of the departed, for all funeral directors, for all who assist in funerals. Lord, hear us. We pray for the sick, for all in our hospitals, hospices and care homes, and for the housebound, for all affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, for all who serve in the National Health Service and as key workers. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have died, for our own departed relations and friends, for all who have died as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, for those who died in the Grenfell Tower fire, for all who have died recently and all who we remember. Lord, hear us. We give thanks to God for the life of Rosie Figaro. We hold in our hearts our memories of her and we give thanks to God for them as we commend her to him. Lord, hear us. And we pray for those who grieve and mourn, for all who are anxious or distressed at this time, that they may know God's comfort and healing power. Lord, hear us. And so as we remember Rosie and the souls of all the faithful departed, we pray, rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. We join our prayers with those of St Michael, St Colum and St Francis, and chiefly with Mary, the Mother of God, whom we greet, saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, you promise to hear us when we pray in faith. Hear the prayers we offer today and grant them according to your will and for our benefit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favourably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant Rosie may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence for ever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Michael, St. Colum, St. Francis, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence 
we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with Jonathan our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Rosie, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died, and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even though he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will not die forever. Alleluia. Let us pray. 
Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your servant Rosie, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Do please continue to pray for the life and work of the church, to pray for our community, and to pray particularly for all who grieve and mourn, and to remember uh, the souls of the faithful departed. The Lord be with you. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. In our day of thanksgiving, one psalm let us offer for the saints who before us have found their reward. When the shadow of death fell upon them, we sorrowed, but now we rejoice that they rest in the Lord. These stones which have echoed their praises are holy, and here is the ground where their feet have once trod. Yet here they confessed they were strangers and pilgrims, and still they were seeking the city of God. In the presence of Jesus, the saints are in glory, who have known him and loved him and served him below. Their reward is with him to be happy forever and to follow the Lamb wheresoever he may go. Blessed saints in the presence of Jesus forever, be mindful of us who here struggle below. Intercede for your brethren who linger in exile, that on them life eternal their God may bestow. 